Welcome to Draw Studio. Today we're going to learn about the cone of vision so we can avoid distortion in our perspective drawings. Let's get started. In perspective drawing, a viewer stands on the ground plane at the station point and sees a scene through the picture plane. Their vision hits the picture plane at the center of vision point on the horizon line. The vision of the viewer radiates out from the station point as a cone that ends at the picture plane. We call this the cone of vision. If the viewer moves farther away from the picture plane, the cone of vision will get bigger. The cone of vision is important because anything that falls outside of the cone of vision would technically be outside of the viewer's field of vision and will start to look slightly distorted. To create a cone of vision in our perspective drawings, we take a line from the station point up to the horizon line at a 30 degree angle. The easiest way to do this is to use a standard 30, 60, 90 degree triangle fixed at the station point. Next, we draw a circle around the 30 degree mark using the center of vision point as the center of the circle. This circle represents the cone of vision coming from the viewer's eyes and hitting the picture plane. The inside of this circle is the optimal area for making our perspective look normal to our eye. Because the cone of vision sits at 30 degrees on either side of the center of vision, we call this a 60 degree cone of vision. The 60 degree cone of vision is our standard cone of vision but some people will use a 45 degree angle from the station point to create a 90 degree cone of vision. This is acceptable but will contain slight distortion. To keep your perspective looking more true to human vision, stay inside the 60 degree cone of vision. Let's draw some boxes in perspective. This box fits comfortably inside the cone of vision and it looks normal to our view. If we draw another box breaking outside of the cone of vision, the amount of convergence we see here starts to look more extreme. Another box sitting farther outside the cone of vision has an extreme amount of convergence and begins to look more distorted. This fourth box looks even more distorted because it's outside of the cone of vision and its left side gets close to its own vanishing point. The closer an object is to its vanishing point, the more distortion it has. Notice all of these boxes still fall inside a 90 degree cone of vision. They are all correct by the rules of perspective, but if you want your scene to feel more normal to human vision, stay inside that 60 degree cone of vision. But what if your cone of vision is too small? One way to fix this would be to draw smaller so more objects fit inside the cone of vision. Another way would be to simply move the viewer farther back from the picture plane by extending the station point down from the horizon. This makes the cone of vision bigger on the picture plane and gives you a larger area to create your perspective scene in while making it look normal to our eye. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to go to drosh.com for more information on these topics and many more. If you want to see more videos like this, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.